Hello and welcome to How to Write a Book in 40 Hours. This is Gertrude Mache here in Wellington, New Zealand. And I'd like to first of all welcome all the new members to the group. Please take on this challenge, take it seriously, but just remember to have fun while you do it. Today's Google Hangout was really fun. Thank you for those who managed to get online. In future, when I send out a Google Hangout invitation, please share the link on the Facebook group wall. It appears that some people aren't getting the invitations and it's a real struggle to get everybody online at the same time. So the one thing that came up in today's discussion was writer's block. And as a collective, we came up with some interesting ideas on how one could get over writer's block. Personally, I find that if I sit in a nice quiet room, I have to pretend that my genie is the one who does the writing. So I sit in a quiet room and I look into the corner where my genie normally sits and I tell her that I'm ready. I'm ready to be the scribe and she has to give me the ideas that I have to write down. It really works well for me because I kind of disassociate myself from the writing process. Um, I kind of feel like I'm not responsible for the knowledge that's coming through and it frees me up to write in a very, very magical way. I'm also going to share with you a TED video that I watched by Elizabeth Gilbert. She's the author of Eat, Pray, Love, and she shares her insights on how she gets over writer's block as well. Cherie talked about skipping during our Hangout lesson, and um, she said that skipping helps you shake the brain and get it going again. So maybe have a skipping rope, and when you get stuck, do a bit of skipping. Chris also mentioned a different type of skipping, which is skipping to another part of the book and not forcing yourself to write in a linear fashion. So go on to another chapter and then go back to the one where you were stuck just to get over that hurdle. Another very really cool idea that came up during our hangout was that I think it was Danielle who mentioned that she normally just grabs any book off her bookshelf. She picks a page. She picks a word and she just starts writing about that word. And that again gets her brain going in terms of being creative. Sometimes writing with a pen is really good because I think there is something that happens with your brain when you are thinking and you're trying to type. And that's why I discovered this process on how to write a book in 40 hours because I really struggle when I try and think and type, which is why I speak my books into life. So if it works for you, get out a blank piece of paper, start writing, write on a piece of paper instead. Another suggestion that came up was write a song that you know, or it could be a poem or just something that's familiar in your mind and then go back to your writing process again. Another idea that came up was that sometimes listening to music, natural music or world music really helps. Uh, Clarissa mentioned that she normally steps away from her desk. She starts painting something that reflects her current mood and that again frees her up. Steffi mentioned that her editor always sees the difference of when she's trying hard to write and when she's writing and everything is just flowing. So you've got to be aware of that because your writers will, your readers will also pick up on the same thing. So when you're trying too hard and it's not coming out naturally, leave it. Leave it, go and do something else and come back to it later. The last suggestion came from Devora, who mentioned free association exercises that she does. And I've done a little bit of research around free association techniques that I'll share with you in this post. And it's an interesting concept because, again, you're doing things that kind of shift your brain, that kind of shake it up. And I went onto YouTube and found some very interesting and funny videos that you can watch as well. So just remember to keep having fun. This shouldn't be hard work. It should be easy. It should be effortless. And I will catch up with you again next week on Monday, 10 o'clock New-Zealand time, which is in the evening for people in the UK. It's 6 p.m. Pacific if you're in the United States. 
And remember when you get the Google Hangout invitation, copy and paste that link into this group wall. And if anybody out there is hearing or watching this video and you want to learn how to write a book in 40 hours, I am looking for a hundred authors to help through this process. Inbox me, I will include you in the group and let's have fun with it. So have a great weekend and I'll catch up with you guys on Monday.